Hi there. My name is Catherine, and if you are a friend of mine from Facebook or Instagram or through my blog or in whatever case, you know who, what my name is, but this is for people who might not know me. I am an author, so today when I am speaking to you, I'm not going to be looking at the camera all the whole time because what I have to say, I feel this little word was given to me from God, whispered in my ear, no, not in an audible way, but I felt that God wanted you to know something and he's asking you to do something. And it might be difficult, but hold on. I don't know to whom I'm speaking to right now, but you know who you are. If I can ask a favor, just hold on. If things are really dark right now and you are not sure if you're ever going to see light again, you're not even seeing a light off in the distance, can I ask you something just for right now? Can you hold on just a little longer? Just hold on one more minute, then the next. Take a deep breath and hold on. When you think your grasp is about to slip, hold on. If your insights are as raw as your hands would be if they were holding on to the end of a rope, hold on. He hears your shout for help. He hears your whisper of despair. He's on his way. Now, if somebody comes to your mind as you heard me just now, and you know in your knower that they need God's help. I'm talking to my fellow Christians right now. And maybe you don't even know God. But if your knower is shouting out, it could be that you are meant to be the one to carry that hope to them. Reach out with an email, a Facebook message, a text, or what would be the best is a phone call. Yes, a phone call. Even in the middle of the night, trust that knower. Your voice can be a reminder that they are not alone, that they are heard, and that they are seen. Your voice may give them the strength to hold on. Now, a few years ago, during a time of worship, it was a two-day worship and prayer time, towards the end of this two-day extravaganza, I felt God asked me to walk across the front of the church using as a stick, not as a cane, but as a staff up in the air like that. I was already exhausted. I found it difficult to walk on my own, and my legs were shaking, and I was sweating bullets Every muscle in my disabled body screamed, stop, it's not worth it. You're not making any difference. But I knew I had to keep walking. And so I reached out for help. The friend I asked to help me was at first startled. You see, she doesn't like being in the limelight. She looked around for somebody else, anybody else who could help me, but nobody else was there. And so my shy, quiet friend took a deep breath and stepped out beside me. With her support and with my stick in hand, I held on and I kept walking. When we are at our weakest, God asks us to trust he calls us to keep walking, keep going, keep moving, keep reaching out, hold on. And my friend helped me hold on that day so I could complete what I felt God was calling me to do. Now, you might think yourself of little consequence, but the simple act of walking side by side, step by step, was someone with shaky spiritual legs can breathe in new life and strength. You might be the person that will help someone else hold on. And if you're holding on, 
you're not sure you can make it, reach out. Bless you all. Bye.